Now that all the summer games announcements are done and out of the way, from State of Play to Summer Games Fest and even the Xbox Showcase, there are tons tons and tons of titles I'm actually excited about this year. Even more so, games that are actually coming out this summer. But what I wanted to do today is take my top five picks from all of the announcements this summer, explain a little bit, and tell you guys why I'm excited for them. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. Starting with number five, Doom the Dark Ages. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, this one is absolutely wild. I originally was not going to put this one on my list, but after recently playing the Doom series, which absolutely you guys can watch that on twitch.tv slash justjsama. If you haven't played the Doom series, I'm going to warn you right now. It's absolutely insane. Essentially, you play as this super soldier known as the Doom Slayer, or as the internet calls him, Doom Guy, who is tasked with fighting back the hordes and hordes of demons and zombies and monsters that are trying to escape hell. And that's it. That's the premise of the game. It's the sequel to the 2016 game Doom Eternal, which is highly rated by the way. And I also have not gotten to that one on twitch.tv slash justjsummer. <laughs> so you guys can check that out when I'm streaming. It's just more of the fast paced, high octane gameplay from the previous games with of course, even more crazy visuals. So it's safe to say that it'll be a good time. And number four on my list, yeah, this, this one actually kind of shocked me a little bit, is Phantom Blade Zero. Now, this was strange, and I'll tell you why. I originally wasn't going to put this on my list. Mostly that was because I didn't know anything about the game, except for all the internet rumors that this game was fake, and it was just a tech demo for the PS5. But here we are, a couple of gameplays later, and <laughs> let me tell you, I'm locked in. I'm hyped, okay? I'm waiting for this game to drop. It's a Souls-like hack and slash game, kind of like Sekiro where everything is kind of close quarter combat, which I'm absolutely excited for. The fast paced like fighting of this game kind of reminds me of Warframe a little bit, at least with all the textures and the details. So that, it's got me hooked. I don't have no idea what the story is, but hey, listen, like I said, I'm locked in and I'm excited to see more. So that leads me to my number three pick. And honestly, you guys are shocked. I'm shocked. It's Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now I know, I know, I have gone on record to be not only this game's biggest hater, but I'm also one of its biggest defenders, just to be honest. Uh, I absolutely want this game to be good, but hey, listen, I've been a Ubisoft Assassin's Creed shill for many, many years, all right? And I thought I finally broke those chains, but this game really bringing me back home, man. We play as two different protagonists this time. The first one is Naoi, who is the first shinobi that we're getting in the Assassin's Creed franchise, which is so crazy that they're, we're this far in, but we're just now getting an actual ninja. That's insane. So you, she uses more stealth and distraction tactics to kill her enemies. And then the other character is the most controversial, who is an actual historical figure. It's Yasuke, the first black samurai, which I'm kind of hyped about, but not really, I think. He uses more brute force and hand-to-hand, -hand, straightforward combat. Listen, call me skeptical, but I'm also kind of intrigued. I'm excited. I want to see more. Am I getting the game? Am I pre-ordering it? No, I don't pre-order games, but I mean, either way. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. All right, that leads me to number two. And honestly, this one was a big surprise for me because I did not expect this to be a game to ever come out, let alone a game I would ever be excited for. And it's Killer Bean. I mean, look at it. It looks like so much fun. So the premise of this game is you play as a killer bean. Yes, that's right. You heard that properly. You play a killer bean who goes out on assassination targets and ultimately just fuck shit up. This is kind of like a, one of those like roguelike games and apparently it's open world and the story changes every single time you start a new campaign, which I'm I'm here for it, absolutely. This The only thing I could want more for this game is an actual co-op multiplayer mode. You go through different various guns, uh, vehicles, and of course, loot. I mean, what's a great bean game without loot? So this one is one I'm really looking forward to. Uh, especially if they happen to drop a co-op or if there's gonna be a co-op mod, man. I'm absolutely excited for this. Now, my number one summer game announcement, man. This is probably one that I was not expecting to come. I was not expecting it to happen, but here we are. And uh, of course, it goes to No More Room in Hell 2. This one is the last one on my list because I'm the most excited for it. It's quite literally hit me out of nowhere. 
I knew absolutely nothing about this franchise, but hey, I mean, I'm a zombie shooter type of guy. This one is an eight player co-op zombie shooter. And I already know, yes, yes, Jay, don't we have enough of those? Yes, absolutely. Weren't the last ones absolute dog water? Yes, absolutely. You're right. But look, here's the thing. This is my list. You can make your own down in the comments section. We can discuss those down there, big dog. But look, I enjoy these types of games. And not only is this one like fully co-op, it's it's got like buildables in it. And there's, there's no way I'm not gonna play that. One of my recent obsessions is actually Seven Days to Die. So if it's anything like that, oh, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm absolutely excited, brother. But look, that's my list. I wanna know yours down in the comments section. Are there any, anything on my list that you guys are excited for? What's on your list? Please let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. If it's something that's new that I haven't heard of or that I should be excited for, maybe we'll make a whole video about it. But that's gonna be it for today. I do wanna thank you guys for watching and taking the time to really go on this journey with me. Hey, listen, man, these are these are only the five that I picked. There's still like 30, 40 more games that are coming out in the next year, man. I'm Gamers are eating right now, baby. Gamers are absolutely eating. So, but uh, yeah, anyway, this has been your man, Just Jay Sama. I'll see you guys on the next one.